Oh yeah! This week on the Plastic Planet, we're going to be talking about a Hot Toys figure so visually stimulating. It's going to remind you of that time when your wife came to bed wearing absolutely nothing but her mouth guard and flannel jammies. A figure so absolutely memorable, it's going to remind you of that time you had dinner at Perkins. A figure so amazing, it'll remind you of eating white bread. Yummy. We're talking about the First Order Stormtrooper from The Force Awakens, this week on Hot Toys Hump Day. Knickknacks Plastic Planet presents... It's a knick-knack micro-moment! Hey guys, welcome back inside of the Plastic Planet. I am your host, Nick Mac, hanging out with you guys today for another Hot Toys Hump Day. Today we're gonna to be going over a figure that I dug out deep inside of my shelves of disappointment. That's right, I got the First Order Stormtrooper here from The Force Awakens, a figure who, despite being out for over three years now, is still readily available, not only at SideshowToy.com, uh, but all over the internet, at a price that is very, very affordable for a Hot Toys figure. I've seen him going for as low as $150 in some places. Um, it seems like people can't give him away, uh, which is sad because he's an army builder figure, and you know what? Aesthetically, he is a nice action figure, I will say that. I mean, yes, absolutely. This is a nice action figure. The joints have got a nice rubber feel to them as well as his uh, his uh, his tips on his boots down here. Really nice looking uh, Stormtrooper figure. Uh, nothing, nothing to complain about at all. Looks absolutely fantastic. I mean, I look at this figure and I just feel like I'm right smack dab in the middle of a Walt Disney theme park somewhere and, uh, and, and your kid's taking Jedi Knight lessons. That's what I think of when I see this figure. Or maybe we're watching the new Wreck-It Ralph movie. I don't know. But that is the feel that I get from this guy right here, and uh, I don't know if that's a good feeling. Nevertheless, still a very fantastic looking uh, Hot Toys figure, and one that you can get for really, really cheap. Alrighty, well I don't have a lot to compare and contrast this particular uh, Hot Toys figure with, except for of course I, I got out and put him next to some real Stormtroopers. Uh, this is of course the uh, Sideshow Collectible Stormtrooper from way back in the day, which really for, uh, for an earlier Sideshow figure, this, this guy really holds up still. I really do dig this figure a lot. I actually put a little, uh, per a tip uh, from, a, from, a, from one of the uh, collector forums, I actually put some floor wax on this guy and shined him up real nice. I actually think he really holds up well today. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'd love to have some hot toy classic Imperial Stormtroopers, uh, but that just wasn't in the budget for me when these guys came out. So I'm still with my, I still stuck with my, uh, my pair of Sideshow uh, collectible Stormtroopers. And you know what? They still do the trick for now. And of course, there is the uh, First Order Stormtrooper we're talking about and of course a sideshow collectibles um hoth stormtrooper i really dig that one as well so there's there's the murderers row lineup right there uh yeah Alrighty, well that's going to wrap up this edition of the Plastic Planet and yet bring yet another Hot Toys Hump Day to a close. Hope you guys didn't find this particular uh, edition of Hot Toys Hump Day to be a little rushed, maybe a little uh, ill-conceived, maybe not very well thought out. And if it did, well, maybe it'll remind you of something else. Yeah, so anyway, that's going to wrap up this edition of The Plastic Planet. Uh, you know what? Hey, guys, please like, comment, and of course, share, and please do subscribe to The Plastic Planet. We'd love to have you here each and every week, as we do have a great time right here on The Plastic Planet. All right, guys, till next time, I'll see you guys around, and uh, hey, love ya. <laughs>